Good morning. My name is Nicole. I am the mom and shaman in beautiful North Carolina, United States. It is kind of early in the morning, a little chilly outside, so I am inside today. Man, I forgot to open up the blinds so I can just have that good morning light. But I've got an appointment this morning, so <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and do this before I went because I really enjoy these cards and I had a really wonderful meditation this morning. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> so the card that I drew was number 43, Hand of Fatima. It's beautiful. So again, these are Alana Fairchild Rumi Oracle cards from Blue Angel Online.com or Blue Angel Publishing. And uh, 43. What would Brother Rumi and Alana has to say? Excuse me. Number 43. Hand of Fatima. I can never leave you. Not for a moment. Not for an hour. You are in everything I do. You are my everything. My drink is your sweetness. I move to your command. I am surrendered prey in your hands. And you are my consuming lion. Your soul and my soul are truly one soul. I swear you are one soul. I long for no one but you. In the garden of your grace, I am only a germinating sprout. The crown of my blooming is the desire to be in your arms. Rumi. Oh, that was so romantic. <laughs> All right, next part. My hand watches over you. I bring you blessings and comfort, protection and grace. Radiant with divinity am I. And you are my child, my beloved, my angel, and my body too. I shall never leave you. Turn your inner eye to me and see the light of my grace in your heart. You cannot be harmed. You cannot be defiled. You can only ever be what you are. Me. Alive. Radiant with love. You are giving birth to more spirit than you have ever held before. During such time, a divine midwife can be helpful and supportive. This is Fatima, radiant daughter of the Great Beloved, who reaches from the skies who reaches up from within your body from deep within the earth and brings you the gift of protection, grace, and love. You are safe. You are held and you are bound within her warmth. She has received your prayers and she honors your devotion to life, to love, and to growth. She will help you. Ask for her blessing daily. You can use this simple sacred honoring ritual to do so if you need guidance on how to pray to her. But any words from your heart spoken in authority will suffice. No matter how simple or ornate they may be, she responds to the feeling behind the words and she responds instantly. Beyond time and space, in fact, she has responded even now, perhaps before you even know she was needed. This oracle brings to you the guidance that what is born in your life right now in your own consciousness is a seed perhaps of a new way of being a new idea belief system philosophy or sense of self is going to come to maturity under the loving protection of the divine mother you are also being asked to heed your intuition and instincts have some discernment about who you involve yourself with 
and how you choose to use your time and energy. Allow yourself to feel Fatima's guidance and comfort in you by giving yourself permission to be nurtured through your own choices and the people or situations you say yes or no to in your life. This is a way to honor her presence and allow her to help you which she wishes to do in all ways possible. Love is all things you are, dearest angel. And that means saying no can mean saying yes to something greater. So give yourself permission to say your no and yes as dictated by your heart. This oracle also brings you the message that your body is sacred and worth your attention. You do not have to become obsessed. You do not have to push or judge your body, but you can honor him or her as a sacred animal through which your spirit creates soul and expresses itself in the world. This is a truly wonderful and amazing gift, extraordinary and yes, fraught with challenge. The spirit can be powerful. Sometimes it can be hesitant too, enough to really engage with the body and come to life. There is a story that the angel sang music to lure the spirit into the body. But used to its freedom, it was reluctant to experience itself in what looked like rather confining matter. The spirit did not know that Fatima would be initiating the spirit into her mysteries through the body she was going to be sharing the sensuality of life the sacredness of love the deep mystery of life death and rebirth and the wonders of nature she was going to show the divine could live not only in light but also in flesh fatima holds the wildness of divine feminine wisdom and the sanctity of life she has great gifts of ecstatic presence only able to be experienced through the spirit living in the body. She will share this if you allow her to guide you. Once the spirit recognizes this, even just a whiff of Fatima's glorious fragrance, the enthusiasm for life ignites, and the wonders of the world experienced through the body become a way to revere the great beloved and turn all of life into the temple of love. This oracle also comes with guidance. Giving your body rest and healing is most beneficial at this time. There are symptoms you are experiencing, anything from fuzzy headedness to tenderness and aches and pains, as well as shifts in body temperature that seem unbalanced. And these are directly related, if not solely, to the interaction of your spiritual essence with your sacred animal body. These will even out under Fatima's grace and protection, like two housemates learning to live together and enhance each other rather than distract and annoy each other with their quirks and differences. This settling in process will happen all the more easily when you ask for Fatima's help. This oracle also advises that if you ask for help and protection in any matter, it will be granted. There is no exception to this rule. There was nothing you have done that has made you unworthy of divine intervention, grace, and love. Not one thing ever. Ask, trust, and receive. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to read the sacred honoring ritual, but this is, wow, because... A lot of the things that are in this card were a part of my meditations this morning, just just before I pulled the card. So, wow. No coincidences. Sacred Honoring Ritual. Place one hand on your heart and one over your belly and say the following aloud. Fatima, who loves me unconditionally, bless me with your hand of protection and your radiant grace. May I love my body and live my divinity in totality. My spirit is my body. My body is my spirit.
Just kind of letting that sink in a little bit. I have been thinking a lot about my judgments of myself. I'm, you know, I'm very pleased in the the last year. I have um, lost about a hundred pounds, and I'm, you know, I'm intending to lose a hundred more, and that that will happen. It's already happened. I'm just not at the point in my experience where, um, that's a part of my present moment. But it's coming. I've already seen it within my mind's eye. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm here of lately. I've been noticing and kind of judging my body some. And, um, then I have to, like, ask myself, like, all right, this is that, this is the body that you have. This is the body that you created through your choices up to this point. And this is the body that you are in as you continue to make different choices for yourself because I don't necessarily want to say better because a choice is a choice I mean whatever someone wants in a given moment whether or not they didn't consider the consequences or the circumstances that that particular choice may bring about in their lives it's still a choice right in that moment when they made that choice that is what they wanted versus you know what their options were and I've really been thinking a lot about kind of kind of myself some slack for just a lot of the experiences that I've been examining in my life that kind of made me the way that I am interesting and uh being able to understand the the pieces of your experience that have created the programming you're currently working under and put it down I guess put it back in the deck so to speak I wouldn't necessarily say put it down because you can't put it down it happened it's a part of your experience but that doesn't make you or your experience in totality bad. That may have been something that, I mean, you know, well, for me, it was something that taught me a lesson and was teaching me a lesson. And, <laughs> you know, when you feel like you're not being listened to and you want to talk louder because you feel like somehow shouting make the person listen when you're never shouting at the right person you're never mad at the right person I think about that when I watch movies and whatnot there's all this misdirection you know um, the bad guy even thinks that you know, they're just making choices what's in their perception is their own best interest you never know what someone's deck of cards was what their hand was what options they perceived from from what they were looking at because there's always something that you don't see there's that little piece of information that would possibly have you make a different choice and just understanding now from from this perspective that I can't beat myself up or punish myself or feel bad about decisions that I made in the past because that was what I wanted in that moment based on what I was looking at and when you look at things through a lens of fear lack constantly you feel anxious and afraid and alone constantly it must be exhausting and then to, to step back and think you know 
let me look at this situation through through a lens of love and not only through a lens of love but as a reflection of how I feel about myself I've been looking at things a lot differently lately. Looking at myself. Now I tell you, I have gotten answers from myself about myself. What my truth is who I am, who you are. The truth is what we see, what we project is just really a manifestation of how we feel about ourselves. I've gotten to the point where I enjoy being in the quiet. But there's always some sound. Even in the most quiet of nights, if you're laying in the dark, if there's no sound to be heard, you can at least hear your breath. I often like to focus on the sound of my heartbeat and tell myself that my heartbeat is a uh, love song from God like every little spark that beats my heart is a love song from God letting me know that I'm loved to remind me that I'm loved And moment to moment, we forget. We get distracted by our thoughts, our ego, our lives. And then we see someone and forget who they are. <laughs> A little empathy and understanding go a long way. You never know how your light might be the spark that warms someone's heart, gives them that piece of hope, that reassurance that the world is not quite as shitty as you think it is. But, um, It can be different. So the question I often ask myself is how can I change the world? <sighs> I have an idea. I have ideas. Oh, I have many ideas. But as it stands right now, I have to start with the dirt. I have to start within myself within my experiences, within my perspective, clean my glasses, look at life through the lens of love and abundance and peace. And just see.
So thank you for spending this time with me today. I'm going to go ahead and close this on out now. My name is Nicole. My friends call me Coley. And I am the Mom and Shaman in North Carolina. And I love you. You are so amazing. And I'm so grateful that you took this time to spend with me. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Peace.